Hey everybody out in YouTube land, my name is Mike and I love guitars. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a highly sought after pedal released late last year. We're going to check out the JHS Nauticlon DIY pedal kit. And not only that, but I'm going to build this with my 11 year old son. Let's do this. Back in mid-November of last year, when JHS announced the release of their Nauticlon DIY pedal kit, it's pretty safe to say that they seriously underestimated the demand from guitars. The initial batch of 3,000 pedals sold out within hours, and so JHS immediately started taking pre-orders for more pedals. Unfortunately, I didn't jump in right away to order mine. I waited three days to order, and as a result, I had to wait over four months for it to arrive. Well. Now I know, the next time I want to order a very popular pedal release from a relatively small company, I need to do it immediately. To JHS's credit, they very quickly released a video on their YouTube channel explaining the insane demand for the kit and the steps they were taking to try and ensure that all of the orders were filled as quickly as possible. Well, now that I have mine, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the kit and then I'm going to get my son back in here so we can start building it together. Okay, here we go. Just a simple plain white box, very much like the 3 Series pedal, which the Nauticlon looks exactly alike. Three knobs, plain white enclosure, no fancy graphics, nothing like that. It, it really appears to be kind of part of that 3 Series line. All right, let's open it up, see what we got. Okay, so we have QR code for full instructions, which is cool. Have a manual. Instruction manual there. Got stickers, got a card, join the email list at discount. Another little insert, kind of a, a quick, quick sheet. All right, here we go. Got our knobs, big fat knobs that go in all the clons. We've got little input screws, a little ribbon cable all kind of hardware for the enclosure. We got our little tube of goop with a JHS button, which is cool. A little applicator in there and a uh, little uh, feet, a uh, little rubber bumper feet for the pedal. All right, here is the enclosure itself. Again, very plain, very much like the three series pedals. Just empty enclosure, which of course you expect because it is a DIY kit. Me and my son are going to uh, write our names and initials rather inside here. So yeah, that's cool. And here we go. This is the circuit board. This is what goes inside of the Nauticlon. And if I remember correctly, this actually has to be snapped off. And these are snap offable tools you can use. I'm going to use actual tools because I have actual tools, but it's kind of cool that they included tools that you can snap off the circuit board as part of it so that even if you don't have tools, you can still build it. Now that we looked at all the pieces in the kit, let's start putting the sucker together. All right, here we go. We've got our instructions, we've got our tools, and we're gonna get going. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull this out. Okay. And then snap it. Yep. I initially said I was, wasn't going to use these, I was going to use real tools because I had real tools, but I kind of thought about it and figured, you know what, why not? Let's use the pieces that they include.
All right. Well, this is. And now. Yeah, this is pretty side. easy. This other side. And just like that, we're done, Turtle. We built the pedal. Um, Except there's. Yes. Okay, we'll say today is March 29th, so. March 29th, 2024. And then just put your initials right there. Okay. All right. Awesome. We're done. And I'll put the bottom on. Yay. Yay. We uh, built a pedal. We did it. Now for the moment of truth. Does it actually work? Sounds like we have success. Let's set it for some typical boost settings. through my EVH 5153 50 watt head, currently on the green channel. Very low gain setting. I'm gonna crank the gain up on the amp, see what we get. So actually, let's kick you to the blue channel. Take the blue channel, see what we like here. Well, it works. Not totally surprising, it was a very simple kit. There wasn't any soldering, it's one ribbon cable from the two boards, and it's just putting on some nuts to hold everything in place after that. But yeah, it works. My son had a great time. Yeah, it's really cool, I, I'm really glad we did it. Well, what do I think about everything? I think this was an extremely fun way to get both a cool pedal and to have some quality time with my son. He had a blast building it because he absolutely loves building things and he got to be in a video with me, which is something he's been wanting to do for a very long time. And just like that, we're done. We have a completed built Nauticlon pedal. What'd you think, buddy? 
I thought it was good. Did you have fun? Mm hmm Do you wish that there were more pedals like this that you could build with Daddy? Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for checking it out, guys. Bye. Oh, man. Here we go. I am getting too old for this.